Texas is better. All oh, right, good. Well, I didn't know whether you smoked or not. You didn't say anything about it. Very, yeah. Uh, I never, never, never did, but uh, six years ago, I went through a six, well, just thought I was in a down period. I couldn't even sleep. And so, uh, I had a prescription to get a cigarette. So I took one the first night, and I slept. So I put them away, because I didn't need them anymore. You know I could still sleep. <laughs> I don't want Mr. Chemical to disappear. So that's my attitude about drugs in general. Yeah. Aside from my uh, is, is that good or bad? Oh, no. Can it be retroactive, though, if it's good fun? It's one of the things you can do is put stuff in the scroll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His brain is in a scroll. God, poor Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Poor Johnny. Yeah, was it? Could I ask you something? Why does um, cleanliness have such a, an attraction to so many people? You really didn't have a big book or anything, you know what I'm saying? But they are close respected. It's just curious how across the board. I mean, well, if anyone ever comes to Boston. Well, ask me uh, about John and say, uh, have you seen John lately? So, obviously, I don't know if they had an impact, but the poems. I don't know if they got the kind of critical thing they were talking about. Oh, I have something to tell you. And Tony Jarakito told me the other day. On the phone, I'm talking to Tony about something else. And, um, see, I. I suggested Tony for the uh, bicentennial, uh, bicentennial uh, observance of the constitutional signing. Uh, they had six people up there, and one of them was the one that I had suggested the one that I suggested Tony to be Ben Franklin. And sure enough, he was, they made him Ben Franklin. He appeared, and he's making a couple of bucks to sign, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks, you know, to do this, which is nice, and they're in period dress and all that. Well, anyway, I've suggested that he'd be kind of an unofficial city greeter because he speaks like five languages. Yeah. Well, he's a pretty erudite guy. And, um, I like him. I told you what he used to call stone soup. <laughs> no! Well, that's one thing, probably, but he called it pebble bra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he had great discouragement for us, and it's wonderful that, you know, in the last few years, um, we've seen each other a few times, and, uh, you know, do a couple of things his way and all that stuff. I like Tony. He's a rare man, one of a kind. Well, listen, Hot Shot, I gotta talk to my man in blue. Uh, we gotta um, set a few things up. When will I uh, run into you again? Please do. Okay. Bye bye. Just hang that up. Well, I run down too. Who could this be? See, the most important thing, the most important thing is the accent. Not that that's on, because it's not as important as the accent of me wearing this. Not that what's on. Just that Mala isn't gone. Oh. That's right. Although, he's gone. And that's a pig. Well, see, uh, for me, I'll take this quite seriously. Quite seriously now. Let's be serious, Jack. Uh, everything. <laughs> Is that habitual, by the way? Seriousness? Indelibly. <laughs> well, you know, God bless the fact that you're... You don't have to get old. 
Uh, well, no, and, and if you're and getting old, young people too. In the sense that, as one ages, what do you look at? Diminished horizon. I will not, I guess, ever in this lifetime be able to stuff a basketball. Really? No. Nope. I never did it. I never did it. Doubt so. that I will in the near future. I never even came close. So that makes a far future, you know, rather unlikely. If I did hit a lot of baskets. So. That's the question of age. The question of age is that you uh, have a diminished area of capability or attainment. And in certain areas, of course, poetics, for instance, uh, as you mentioned earlier, this um, football player is pretty much done at 32. Baseball player, maybe 36. Poet. Open season. They're just getting going. Unless they damage their minds too much. You know. <laughs> now, talking about current writing, it's only presented a few times. Very cool, so. Boy, this young stuff is so brilliant, hot, exciting. Let's say that uh, Greg's not on top of the game. He's not brilliant, hot, and exciting anymore. I would say not. As a writer, as if there's no one to read it. What do you mean there's no one to read it? Let's put it this way. What's called poetry. Yeah. Under bestseller conditions. Yeah. Compared to... Novelists, best seller conditions. Yeah. So you reach a tiny percentage of the general population that shows no promise of growth. If you reach the, if you reach them through the writing, it's all it's just like anything how else. They, Jack, how do they ever reach to the yourself. writing? Yes. How, how do, no, how do they encounter it? Where how do they, they know Shakespeare? That two percent read Shakespeare. How do they know Shakespeare? All well, television talks about Shakespeare. Schools talk about Shakespeare. If television talks about it, schools talk about it. Because that's okay, what the kids see and what they want to hear. Could I offer you Today's one thing? Society. A response. The largest poetry gathering paid that I ever had anything to do was, was a thousand people paid to see Lawrence Phil again ten years ago in Boston. Yeah. No, it was not reviewed by anyone. Didn't have to be. But if it were reviewed on the Arts and Living's pages of the club, an enthusiastic review, more people to come to poetry and something. You took a few people this way. Did you call the people up and have them? Yeah, you, you know what they them? said? What? They said this, but I was saying it this way. After all, you complain that we, if 80 people show up at a club to watch some punk rock band, or, you know, a jazz group, we'll review it. But we won't review a thing that's got 200 poets, I mean, 200 audience of poetry, 500, I guess, for, for a line, you know, a couple of hundred for, believe this or not, Gerard Malanger and his grievous films. Well, it was one film. He was agree with no, uh, you know, like Charles Olson, John Wieners, uh, Mickey's one for the, uh, but with no quoting, I mean, no, in other words, no transcription of their voice. Could have been a voiceover, a different time, place. At least it would have been connected with the material. He had, uh, most of the role, mostly inappropriate. And, and obligatory scene of him nude. Don Juan. <laughs> oh, uh, so, that's just it for that side of the street. Otherwise, it is important to maintain.
18. Same thing. 